For the first time, the PLA began deploying military helicopters in its incursions into Taiwan's air defense identification zone last month. Military experts say this is an attempt at launching a trifibious attack, meaning attacking from the air, on water, and underwater. To counter such an attack, Taiwan recently conducted its own helicopter exercises with its special forces. A CH-47 Chinook helicopter approaches and slowly descends toward its target in the water. Water sprays as the helicopter comes close to the surface. Once a raft is dropped into the water, members of special forces jump into the water one after another. This is part of the Army's infiltration exercise for various water bodies. Their goal is to stay undetected. We must have the ability to launch trifibious surprise attacks against the enemy when necessary. That means in the air, on water and underwater. Such an operation will be coordinated with the regular forces so that the enemy will be attacked in a pincer move from the front and back as the enemy's commander is ambushed to break the chain of command. As Taiwan conducted its helicopter drills, China once again sent their military helicopters, AWZ-1 and a Mi-17, into Taiwan's Southwest Air Defense Identification Zone on Friday. It's only been a few weeks since Chinese military helicopters entered Taiwan's Aegis at the end of October. Professor Su Ziyun points out that the ability to quickly take off and land enables helicopters to launch surprise attacks against targets on the ocean. By conducting drills on the sea, developing relevant guidelines, and calibrating its aircraft, China's goal is very clear. It wants to launch trifibious attacks against targets at sea and, along with attack helicopters and transport helicopters, launch surprise attacks by paratroopers. Civilian vessels might also be used as helicopter pads. We must pay attention to that possibility. Given China's increasingly varied tactics against Taiwan, Military experts are sounding a warning to national defense officials.